spirits, our guest masquerades under the name of Iceberg Slim. Many of you remember his story of his days as a procurer, or if you will, a pimp. His prison confinements included solitary in what he called a steel casket. Now he leads a respectable family life. Iceberg Slim has gone straight, and for this reason, he continues to hide his identity. He returns now to tell us about the most incredible con man he ever knew, a blonde-haired, blue-eyed Negro called White Folks. <laughs> You're not putting this on, are you, Slim? No, that's, that's, uh, that's factual. Called White Folks. Uh, how did he get that name? Because of the fact that he could pass over the line, over the color line? That's right. Uh, white folks uh, was a term applied to him by his friends. Uh, his enemies in the black ghetto called him Trick Baby. Now, a Trick Baby would imply, I believe, that uh, his mother was a prostitute. And that she had had sexual congress with a white man and that had been an accident. How did he uh, respond to, to being called Trick Baby? Oh, the, 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 the Irish... African blood in him would boil up. Irish African blood. Yes. That was a combination. Yes. Uh, the name of your book is Trick Baby. That's right. Uh -huh. This is the second book. Yes, and it you've is. now proved to the literary world that you weren't a one book author. Yes, and that was gratifying. Now, here you're going away a little bit from, uh, from what you began with in the other book. The other book was largely autobiographical, it dealt with your life as a procurer or a panderer. But here you're going to tell us a little bit in this book, and I hope a little bit tonight on the program, about con men and uh, about the old adage of you can't cheat an honest man because a confidence man's greatest asset is the basic dishonesty of the victim, isn't it? True, that's right. Tell us a little bit about uh, white folks and how he preyed on people. Uh, well, white folks had a natural uh, talent uh, for the con. And when he met Blue Howard, his mentor. Blue Howard? Blue Howard. May I ask you why he was called Blue Howard? The fact that he was so black. That he was blue? Yes. Well, this is a common practice in the ghetto uh, to, to call an extremely black man. By his most prominent characteristic? I see. Go on. And uh, under the aegis of uh, Blue Howard, all of his of white folks' potential as a con man surfaced and the book uh, is an incredible adventure story of the con as it's played in the street the verbatim dialogue what the sucker says and what the con men say to weave the con spell 